I'm a coral reef biologist and I'm particularly interested in how coral reef ecosystems respond to climate change, uh, particularly the way in which the oceans warm and become more acidic. Uh, and we're interested in uh, figuring out whether there's ways to help these uh, very important ecosystems uh, survive the coming century. So coral reefs are threatened by all kinds of stresses around the world. Um, on the global scale, they're threatened by things like global warming, climate change. As the oceans get warmer, it causes corals to bleach, lose their coloration, turn white, and uh, if they stay that way for too long, they die. But they're also threatened by uh, ocean acidification. Uh, as we put carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, some of that carbon dioxide dissolves in seawater, makes it more acidic, and it makes it much more difficult for corals and other organisms that build skeletons to actually uh, grow. Uh, so those are the sort of the global scale impacts, but corals on a local scale are influenced by all kinds of uh, what we call secondary stressors, things that sort of add to the threats that corals are already experiencing from these global impacts. And that can include things like uh, nutrient pollution. If we have uh, a lot of agriculture upstream or on, on coastal lands adjacent to coral reefs, when we fertilize those lands, a lot of the fertilizer can end up as runoff and uh, end up on the reefs. And that disrupts the ecological balance that corals have been uh, adapted to over all this time and can encourage the growth of seaweeds, which smother coral. And we're seeing that in a number of important reef areas around the world. The reefs are also threatened from overfishing. Um, as we've continued to sort of remove uh, important elements of the food web in coral reef ecosystems, that's also encouraged uh, a shift in the ecological balance, which has tended to favor these seaweeds over, over corals. Now, corals are really important because uh, they are the sort of the building blocks for a very uh, important ecosystem that really is home to, uh, by some estimates, somewhere between a third and a quarter of the world's marine species. So a large uh, part of the world's uh, marine species depend on coral reefs for some part of their life cycle. And the reason why the corals themselves are important is that they are what we call the ecosystem engineers. They're the organisms that actually build the structure of the reef, rather like trees in a rainforest. And without that structure to form the habitat that all these species depend upon, there's really no ecosystem. And so the reason why we're worried that, for example, seaweeds are becoming more common on reefs other than corals is that those seaweeds don't really form the hard structure and the habitat for all of those organisms and, and coral reef ecosystems as we know them are starting to disappear.